Watch everybody, welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and we have another then versus now, or should I say then and now video. This is the second one I've ever done. The first one being Kung Fu Master on the Spectrum, which later became on the homebrew game Mr. Kung Fu, a fantastic mod over the crud original version we had back in 1984. Anyway, that was another chapter. We are now talking about Montezuma's Revenge for the ZX Spectrum. Now what you're seeing here is the actual Atari 8-bit version. Actually on the Atari 800 XL if you want to know. I'm using the real hardware. Now this is a game I grew up when I was a teenager with a mate. I love this game. Absolutely fantastic. I, I you know, I was, always loved games with dungeons, skulls, um, spiders, snakes, and this has the whole lot. It really is fantastic. So I just want to give you a quick show of what this is like so you'll get it in your memory what it is what the game looks like and how it plays and everything else it was designed by robert jager back in 1984 and before i carry on um this thing came out of about four names it came out with montezuma's revenge preliminary monty pedro and panama joe really confusing it's it's all to do with cracked versions um beta versions pre-released versions pirate copies you know it's very very complicated thing so what i'm going to say is i've put a link in the two links in the video of this uh, description of this video because it has two very in-depth reviews um interviews with robert jager and he tries to explain what why are so many names and what's happened but anyway let's get on with this what i wanted to show you is this is the atari 8-bit version Okay, so we've got skulls, you have to get the keys. Unfortunately, it's called Montezuma's Revenge as it's known as Mexican Diarrhea. <laughs> but it's playable, it's fast, I absolutely love it. And what I'm going to do is soon I'm going to switch to the um, unfortunate 1984 version of the Spectrum. Let's see what we got. And that will be followed by the fantastic 2015 homebrew version. So I just want to give you some idea of what this game looks and plays like. So you'll uh, memorize it. When it comes to the third part of this video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we'll just go through a few screens here. So if you can remember, memorise that screen for a start off, lots are going on there. Skulls and pits of fire and whoa, everything else. I've got to go up here, I've got to get a blue key. So the idea is you've got to get to the treasure room. That's your goal. And to do that, you need certain keys to get through doors. You need certain, certain items for certain things. There's also um, the dark dungeons. And if you can find a torch, then that will be very much useful. It will light up all the dungeons, but I actually like playing it in pitch black. It gives it more of a thrill. So spiders, skulls, snakes, everything. Let's go along here, see what's along here. Oh yeah, door, door, no, I need more keys. Let's get that. over that and we get him go down there it's a fantastic game I absolutely loved it but um, I didn't have an Atari 8 bit back then my mate did so uh, to play this I had to go around his house right, up the ladder very good game back round again now I should be able to get through the other doors come on oh we did go on jumped over boat no 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 i'm gonna die yeah i thought so <laughs> where where am i now i'm back over there oh you can also jump into the fire into a huge puff of smoke like that i quite like that And I think we'll call it a day there. 
let's just go through these doors. I just wanted to show you these doors, um, these screens, just to give you an idea of what it looks and plays like. Okay, down there. And then you'll go into the lower dungeons. And it gets a lot more difficult. So there we go. That's uh, Montezuma's Revenge, a.k.a. Preliminary Monty, a.k.a. Panama Joe, featuring Pedro. Ugh. For the Atari 8-bit. So now we're going to switch to what we had as Spectrum owners back in the day. The version we got. So um, be warned. And then we will go to the new homebrew version. Well, when it's new... You know, it's uh, it's actually 2015, but hey, we're in 1984 right now, so that's way in the future. So we're going to go stay in 1984. We're going to look at the ZX Spectrum version, then we're going to zoom through the time vortex, 31 years to the year 2015, 2015. So anyway, there you go. That's the Atari 8-bit version. Let's switch to the ZX Spectrum back in the day. And this is what we got in 1984 on the ZX Spectrum. Um, yes, not very good in comparison, is it? Um, this was released by Amazon Systems by a bloke. All I know I can find is called David. So this came out the same year as the version we just saw. Painfully slow. And it has the tunes, but not as... um. Not as exactly the same, but you've got to be pinpoint. There we go. Animation stops as well when you pick someone up. Awful. I didn't see this back in the day. I, I was used to seeing just the Atari 8-bit version, which was fantastic. But this is... Um, yeah, it's not convincing, is it? So we get that. No, we get that. I've got to be so precise as well. Down there we get... So we can't, I don't think, I don't think we can jump across and get anything. I'm not sure. Oh yes, we can. And up for that, some more points. Do, 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 do. It's just not as, um, it's not in the same class, is it? It's very slow. The, uh, the room layouts are exactly the same. But it's just bloody awful. Um. There's no speed as such, and um, and I think I'm dead there. There we go. Oh dear. It's still got the little smoke effect there, but it's it's just not um, in the same league. It's terrible, in fact. Now I've never, as I said, I never played this back in the day, and I'm glad I bloody didn't. There we go. A few point, get some points. I don't have to worry about that. Climb over that skull. Climb up. And that's the sword that kills the skull. You said you've got to be so precise. Yes, it's... <laughs> wow. What can I... Oh, cry! didn't see you. Bad collision detection there. Let's go, uh, let's go along. I've got a blue key, so I should still be able to get through this door down here. I've got a spider to contend with. Jump over him. Yeah, you just can't. You just can't compare uh, compare it, can you? It's it's awful in comparison. I mean, 1984 for a ZX Spectrum game, okay. We didn't expect much, but what I'm about to show you, fast forward to 2015, um, you can see what could be done with the Spectrum. Um, any one thing in its defense is 1984. There was only a 48K out. There was no 128K machine. And of course, the remake, which I'm about to show you. Um, and I'm dead there. Oh no, I've got a, yeah, it's all. Um, and the remake, the homebrew version, does was made for the one to eight. So it's anything in its defence. But apart from that, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I don't think you can make this. I don't think you can make this. Let's have a look. Let's try that again. See, you can't do it. 
One more try. No, actually, that was. Uh, let's try that again. Do a few jumps. No, you can't make that. So maybe that's a uh, not a bug, but yeah, not very well um, checked. And that was. Oh, oh, there we go. I think we're going to end it here. You get a perfect example of how bad it was in comparison. So, yes, 1984 by Amazon Systems. And I just got killed, and there you go, it's game over. Yep. Utterly, utterly awful in comparison to the Atari 8-bit version. Uh, I would have been gutted back in the day if I saw this. But now we're going to fast forward. We're going to get in our time machines and we're going to get into the time vortex. We are going to zoom into the future as we're in 1984 right now. We are going to zoom into the future. We are going to go forward to 2015, 31 years forward in time. Let's go for the ride. Welcome to the year 2009. We have traveled 25 years into the future via the time vortex and I hope you've had a safe trip. But this is now what we get. 25 years after the initial release, and shocking difference, isn't it? It looks exactly the same as the Atari 8-bit version I showed you at the beginning of this video. And this was redesigned by a chap, a Russian chap called Andrew Zyglov or Ziglov. So I hope I pronounced your name properly in one of those two attempts. Um, and I'm just absolutely amazed by the difference. This just goes to show this could have been done back in 1984, not with the sound because this is 128KAY, but the graphics chips are exactly the same it could have been done and look at this it just it even has the Atari 8-bit sounds it's so playable look at the skull it's the same size it's quick and check out this tune did it did did exactly the same way as the Atari 8-bit it's far who's great look at that it's just virtually identical version. If I didn't have an 8-bit back in the day, uh, the Atari 8-bit, this is the one I'd have. I'd be more than happy to sell for this. Unlike the crud we just saw, known as Panama Joe. Right, there we go. There should be a wall there. That's right. Can't get through there yet. So over there and then over there. So we'll show a few screens again you some idea oh okay let's jump there very rusty back down there so yes if you like games that consist of skeletons bouncy skeletons snakes spiders dungeons and treasure then this definitely is the game for you And it just looks, it looks fantastic. It moves so well. Shockingly good. Almost a perfect replica. What on earth was that version we just saw? As I said, it's not as if it's a different graphics chip. It's the same graphics chip. The only difference is in 1984, there was no... Um, Nice little smoke effect as well, that's included. There was no AY, there was no 128K machine back then. There we go, no, drop down. Lovely, there's the spiders. So it's all there. It's literally a mirror copy. Let me get rid of some of these keys because I've got to get through these doors. Oh, 
Bouncy skulls as well, it's all there. Oh, that was careless. It's just a quick guide anyway, just give you an idea. There we go, round there, and then round 100 mile an hour. Very tricky sometimes. Absolutely love this game back in the day, and I still do. I still do. Altogether, there's nine dungeons, and um, there's never an ending. But as I said before, um, I've included two very good interviews with Rob. Is it Rob or I can't remember now, Jager, who invented the game, to ex try and explain why there were so many names to this game. It's basically the same game. It's all to do with pirates and crack copies, that kind of thing. Pre-releases. Right, let's just go through these doors. Down there. there boom, 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 boom. so we'll get down one more screen and that will do oh let's go into the darker dungeon shall we why not while we're here you can um you get a torch Which uh, lights up the dungeons. I managed to get rid of that skull because I had a, I had a, um, a sword. It's just great. It just moves. It plays so fantastically well. It's a beauty. And there we go, the dark dungeons. Ooh. Let's see if we can make this. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh two skulls. Wrong way. The dungeon, the actual... Um, I suppose we could get to the treasure room, we're fine. Oh, just... Forgot the right keys. Oh, nasty. Oh, we only just. Hey. <laughs> Try it again. I've done it again. <laughs> I got too eager. Uh, one more. One more. There we go. Oh no, there we go, because I didn't have a key. I forgot there's an invisible door there. We're going to end it there, I think. Um, let's just die so you can have a nice little uh, game intro playing as we finish off. So that is Then and Now of Montezuma's Revenge, a.k.a. Preliminary Monty, a.k.a. Panama Joe, feeling, uh, featuring Pedro. What a mouthful. So... Yes, it's um, a, a shocking difference compared to the official release back in the day. 25 years it took before somebody had the, uh, the thoughtfulness of trying to recreate the Atari 8-bit classic. So there he is, Robert Jager, that's it, who has created a game, and Andrew Ziglov, or Zyglov, who um, has redone it for the Spectrum. It's only a Spectrum 1 to 8K, though. It doesn't come out on the 48K. But absolutely brilliant so there we go i'm happy to have done that one one of my all-time favorite 8-bit games and i hope you've enjoyed that next edition of then and now so until next time take care of yourselves please keep subscribing to the channel or subscribe once that's all you need to do and hit that cl uh, click that notification bell so you'll receive all my latest notifications otherwise you won't know what i've uploaded will you and that would be a crime yes it would so yep, yeah, that's it. That's it from Zeus. So until next time, Zeus out.